What is going on everyone? I'm Ethan, also known as Ragnarok, and welcome back to the channel. So, for today's video, I want to talk about The Last of Us Part 1, the remake of the original game coming to PS5 on September 2nd and to PC at some point in the future. Ever since this was announced at Summer Games Fest last month, I feel as if it's been causing quite a stir in the community and seeing as The Last of Us is my favourite game, and still is to this day, I should at least share some of my thoughts on this remake, so if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and comment down below how you feel about The Last of Us Part 1, but without further ado, let's talk about it. <sighs> the leaks, the leaks, the leaks. Somebody please get a plumber in here for Naughty Dog because they are in dire need of one. I'm really not sure what's been going on over there for the last few years, but something can't be right. The Last of Us Part 2's entire script leaked ahead of its launch, Joel's death scene and other bits of gameplay, the new Factions multiplayer game they've been working on was leaked before Part 2 even released, and we literally only just got concept art for that last month at Summer Games Fest. Uncharted 4 and The Last Legacy Remaster was leaked, and as of now, not even a few days ago, screenshots and gameplay started leaking on Reddit for The Last of Us Part 1. This literally forced PlayStation into dropping the video you've seen playing in the background going in depth about the game at 1am on Thursday, at least for me anyway in the UK, in response to these leaks. It's no secret that Part 2 completely destroyed and divided the community, but what's been destroying Naughty Dog's reputation and credibility in the last few years are these leaks, and now they strike back again with the Part 1 remake. Now you may think, how can leaks of a game we all know like the back of our hand hurt their reputation, but in this case, the community was already set up to believe from Naughty Dog themselves that the remake would include updated slash improved gameplay mechanics, and many people, including myself to be honest, believed that this meant that the remake would resemble The Last of Us Part 2's game play by adding a dodge button, being able to go prone, the squeeze throughs and all of the other gameplay mechanics exclusive to part 2, but before Naughty Dog themselves could show what they really meant by that gameplay, it was already leaked and has recently sent the internet into a frenzy. As someone who also believed that's what they meant about the gameplay only to be debunked by the leaks and now this official video, I honestly was not bothered either way as I personally like the gameplay across both games. Yes, The Last of Us Part 2's gameplay pretty much improved on everything the first game did and more so, but to me the additions like the dodging, proning and squeeze throughs were made specifically for Ellie and I always thought it would be weird for Joel to do the same considering his age and all, and yes you could argue it's a game and it shouldn't matter but I personally like that the two play differently with Joel being more of a brawler and Ellie being the more swift and agile. I loved it too. I've had discussions with friends about what they could give to Joel to make him unique and refreshing to play in a remake, such as a block button instead of a dodge button, and asked my community on Instagram at Joel's Broken Watch where we have weekly debates about the series, and I even asked them the same, and of course they had valid suggestions too. Now that we know it won't be the case and it was purely just fun discussion of what could have been, I can't bring myself to hate that they kept the gameplay relatively the same as the original. With that said, that also brings about the other hot topic on the internet about this being nothing but a glorified cash grab. As it stands, The Last of Us Part 1 is fully priced at £70 or dollars or whatever currency, and even as a huge fan of the game that is pretty damn steep for what is a big glow up of a 9 year old game that already had a remaster on PS4, and I can fully understand the frustration around such a high price point. People were already calling it a cash grab before this official video, and now seeing how a majority of the changes made are purely cosmetical, such as lighting, animations and physics, you have to wonder how they can be charging so much while not containing any drastically new gameplay changes, or the much beloved Factions multiplayer. If the game was maybe taken down by 20, it would make a little more sense given what we've seen so far, but I honestly believe it's the current price point is what people can't look past, and honestly, I agree. The Last of Us Part 2 didn't even cost that much at launch, and that's exactly what this remake is inspired by regardless of whether or not it's PS5 and PC only. But now that we've talked about the main points of contention surrounding the remake, I just want to give my final thoughts and overall opinion on it. To me, this remake will be the definitive way for new and old fans alike to experience The Last of Us. I know from people in my own life who have played The Last of Us Part 2 and not the original, and knowing that they will get to experience my favourite game the best way possible, 
makes me slightly jealous. The Last of Us HBO series is premiering next year, and to the casual TV show watcher who has never heard of The Last of Us will have the best experience to get into the game series if they so choose. And to those of us die-hard Last of Us fans who will play the remake, it's a way for us to re-experience our favourite game all over again, like we all wish we could have once the credits rolled back in 2013. To me, The Last of Us was never about the gameplay, but the characters and story we all came to love, and to see it all again with such an upgrade to animations and facial expressions, I can't help but be a little excited. Did it really need a remake so soon? Not really. Does it make sense? Somewhat. Is it for everyone? Probably not, but that's fine. Those who want to play it will, and those who don't, won't. I personally will be picking it up come September 2nd, but luckily I work at a game store so I won't be paying full price for it regardless, just now slightly overpriced. I'm just hoping and praying that they don't pull some BS towards the end of the game and add some additional scenes to tie into part 2 better, because I think I've made myself clear by now how I feel about that game, but anyway, that will be enough from me, I feel I've probably opened the floodgates enough, so now I'll just sit back and wait for the game to launch now that I've said my piece. It's been a while since I've done one of these discussion type videos, and honestly, I've missed it. I always like making these, and it's always coming down to just the time and motivation to put it together, but if you guys want to see more, then all you have to do is ask. Just leave a comment down below of what you'd like me to talk about and maybe I'll do it in the future. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and be sure to come and check out our community page for The Last of Us on Instagram at Joel's Broken Watch. I'll have a link for it in the description down below. I've been Ethan, also known as Ragnarok, and let's all endure and survive until September 2nd.